Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be painting these hydrangea. I'm using Windsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Paint, Fabriano Cold Press Watercolor Paper, and then my Princeton Round Brush Size 8 and Princeton Round Brush Size 0. I will leave links to all of the colors and supplies I'm using down in the description box below. So hydrangea are these large, full, rounded flowers that are made up of a bunch of smaller flowers. Each of the individual smaller flowers have four petals, so I'm just going to start by painting these groups of flowers. I'm slowly building and adding in the individual flowers a little bit at a time until I've got a more full, rounded shape. I'm not worrying about making sure all of my petals are the same color, just because that's not how they look in nature. If you look at any flower, you'll see that they have many light and dark shades throughout the petals, so that's what I'm going for. I am, however, adding a little bit more water to my paint the higher I go with my petals, just to create the look of light hitting my flowers from the top. Hydrangea also get a little bit darker in the center of all the individual flowers, so while the petals are still wet, I'm touching in a tiny bit of blue to the centers of them to make them a little bit darker. One more thing to note, once you get enough tiny flowers in the hydrangea to where you've got it nice and full, you can go back and add one or two petals instead of the groups of four to any empty space around the outside of the hydrangea, just to help keep that rounded shape and to finish it off. Now that I've got this blue hydrangea done, I'm moving on and I'm going to paint a second hydrangea using this darker purple color, following the same rules as I did with the first.
I'm going to let my flowers dry and go in and block out where my leaves are going to go. I just want to get the color on the paper. I'm not too worried about what shade they are. In fact, I've gone in and touched in a few different varieties of green just to add a little bit of interest and to mix it up a little bit. Hydrangea have these gorgeous, huge leaves at the bases of the blooms, so that's kind of what I'm trying to paint here. Next, I'm adding in the stems. Each hydrangea is its own flower, but each individual flower has its own stem as well, so I'm going through and adding little hints of stems here and there. I don't want to go crazy, but just enough so that you can see the little details. Now that my focal flowers are dry, I'm going in with my size zero round brush and I'm painting in some fine detail lines. To finish this off, I'm adding a deep blue and purple to the center of some of my flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a new calligraphy video every Monday and a new watercolor video every Wednesday. If you'd like free calligraphy practice guides, head over to snowberrydesignco.com forward slash subscribe and sign up for my newsletter. I also wanted to let you know about my online beginner watercolor floral course that will be released in April 2018. I've been working really hard on this course and I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. I have a waitlist for the course that you can join so you won't miss out on anything. I'll leave a link down in the description box below if you're interested in checking that out. Thanks again for watching. Bye!